All right, troops, it's your man Chris Gowen from tarolhack.com. Now, earlier this week in the post, I received a package uh, containing a T-shirt for something called Scale Attack, which I had never heard of in my life. Um, incidentally, that T-shirt has no bearing on this video. Um, it was an extra, extra large T-shirt, so if anything, it offended me. Um, so I noticed that the T-shirt was from Konami, so I got in touch with Konami and said, what in the supreme hell is going on here? What is Scale Attack? And they said, oh yeah, it's like a new platformer game we've got that we've just kind of stealth launched. Um, which is understandable because given that there's so much going on in the world just now, um, it's a pretty tone-deaf move to just suddenly shout, hey everyone, never mind all that, come and buy our game. So yeah, it looks like they've kind of just sneakily uh, released this on the Switch eShop when, when you got to imagine in uh, less... Uh, tumultuous times they would have probably actually made a big song and dance about it um, hence the t-shirts you can imagine that you don't just make t-shirts for any old game that comes out um, so yeah so they chucked it over so now we're looking at Scale Attack so this is a first play video of Scale Attack and let's see what it's got Pro Gamer always checks the options or the settings in this uh, circumstance Right. Let's do it. I know nothing about this game. The t-shirt turned up and I was like, what is this? Um, so bear that in mind. Let's do it. Lovely. What's in here? That's his house. He lives in a coffin, which is nice. Got a double jump. I always like a wee double jump in a platformer. Let's do it. This is going to be Metroidvania, isn't it? Hello. On it. Locksmith, blacksmith. This is magic. Okay, this is all going to be a hub full of stuff that you can't do just now, so let's just move on. This big fella looks like he's. The goblin's goblet. Ah, okay. Yeah, so it is a Metroidvania then. So there's a Goblin's Goblet up back this week. Presumably that's it, the big beer keg. There we go. Scully, it was, I thought there was another game called Scully coming out. This isn't the same game though, is it? We have to look this up. I'm sure there was a different game called Scully coming out and it was a third person um, adventure. Hold on, let me just search for Scully Switch. Yeah, it's a totally different... Huh. <coughs> okay. So he's called Scully as well. Everyone steal my name, basically, my nickname. Your man Scully, let's do this. Thank you. 
Well, plenty of bants in the start. This seems like it's going to have quite a story. Maybe trying to tiny me a bit too hard with the jokes, but we'll see. Right, let's do this path of the warrior for a moment. I do like a good double jump in a game, I've got to say. Path of the warrior, bring it. Ninja tutorial, double jump. Cheeky wee wall jump. Left button and right button only. Oh, so you don't jump to do a wall jump, you just press left and right. Okay. It's going to take getting used to because it's counterintuitive. Mm. Okay, there's also an issue in that if to double jump, we just do left and right. But it means if I if I was playing a game that had double jumps and I wanted to jump to something, I would sometimes hold the direction and wait to press the jump. But in this case, as soon as you press the direction, the jump. So if I wanted to kind of time a jump, I need to press the direction at the exact moment. Okay, that's going to take getting used to. You know what I mean? If you're sliding down, you would hold in the direction and then wait till you got where you wanted to go, then jump. Whereas here, you can, as soon as you hold the direction, they jump. Oh! Okay, well, I didn't realise that was fatal. Now I do. Still is. Oh, when you die, you drop what you had there. Well, that's no use. Music's nice. Looks very nice, sounds very nice, it's 30 frame rate which is slightly disappointing but still looks really nice. Oh no, old man! Forgot his name. Elves is on, that's it. Yes! Get. Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> I 
Oh, there's a treasure chest there. Yoink! Out we go! Time to mess up some human faces. So where's the sewers down? It's not, is it? Where's my house? Where's the sewers? It looks suspiciously dungeon-esque. What's going on here? Well, that's not the sewers because it's going up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Love a, loves a double jump, this game. Hmm. Right. It's got the Zool method of double jumping where you can work your way up a single wall using the double jump. Quite fiddly though. Jumping isn't great. I think when you're jumping up one wall, it isn't brilliant. I wonder how it is. It's a bit better with the D pad, but not much. Oh, is there just a bit up here I just can't stick to? Is that what it is? Yeah, it must just not be. It's just decided I can't double jump up that bit. Noted. It doesn't stick to the wall anymore. Is that like one of those pieces of lore that it was telling you about at the start? Oh. A critical hit, so it's got a kind of... Okay, so it's got critical hits in it as well, so I imagine... I'm guessing later on I'm going to get more powerful weapons and stuff. This wee knob. Doing with it. Mm hmm. Okay. Is there a map? Yes, there is. Okay, I see. I see. Indeed. 
taking too much damage. That sound effect. Ah, balls. Yep, son. Something you could knock the axe away with your sword, but no. Slightly frustrating that when you die, you drop your a load of your blue diamond things. I don't know what they're used for yet, but like if you do it on a pig pit like that, they're impossible to get back. You're, you just pretty much forget them. Ah, sick. So we can get them. That double jump's really off-putting. Jesus, am I getting up here? I didn't even see that. <laughs> Those like jaggy rock things are too similar to just the normal scenery. Health, please. Ugh. Good job we don't have a set number of lives, eh? Also, if you die and then die again before getting to your gems, you, those ones are gone. This is really a struggle, this um, wall jump. Can't do it there. We have to just give up. Leave that bit. Blow things do yet, so I don't even know if, how worth it is, how worthwhile it is risking life for them. Do you know what I mean? I'm die here. Ah. There's a lot of dying in it. I suppose it makes sense since you're a skeleton. Okay. 
<laughs> see that again. I'm so annoyed with these spikes. Right, buy me some stuff. No. Oh. I don't have anywhere near enough blue things for that, sorry mate. Oh, this is just one big loop then. Sick! So I go up to the top then. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Oh. Ugh, I thought I was hitting those arrows, I didn't realise they were hitting me. Numpty. Oh, there we go, we've got life. Puzzle, I see. Banter. I mean, there's an audience for lengthy dialogue like that. I've, I'm just a very impatient man, so don't <laughs> don't let that put you off. Fast reader, got to admit. Okay, so we're going to find the stolen food and bring it back to the rats, and then they'll let us pass the air vents. Cool. Thanks. Surely once a trap's triggered, that's it. Oh, 
I don't like this wall jumping. How can a bear trap thing like that open itself? It's not... Ugh, come on. Balls. Checkpoint, son. Jesus. I've been too impatient here and I'm getting punished for it. There you go, that's scale attack and we'll leave it there for now. Um, I will continue to play this to try and review it on the site. Uh, interesting start. What's this part? Find this cat and give it food. Right, um, as I was saying, yes, that's scale attack. Um, only half an hour in, but there's some positives and negatives forming in my head already. Uh, the wall jumping, I don't like. Um, I don't understand why you can't just use a button to jump. Uh, moving this moving the stick left and right, it makes for fiddly stuff like that. Like this sort of stuff and it's too fiddly for its own good. Um, with a jump button you should be able to kind of, you'd be able to just kind of plow through that. Now I don't know if you're going to get abilities later on to maybe like, because it's clearly a metroidvania and maybe you're going to get abilities later, maybe you get a better wall jump and you have to put up with this to until you get a better one. Um, maybe there's a reason you can't press a the jump button now, maybe there's another ability that comes that will use that button later uh, but until I figure that out I'm not massively keen on the wall jumping um, too much dialogue but that, again that's a personal taste, some people be into that building up the lore and all that um, again I'm just a really impatient chap who just wants to get on with it oh, fuck. Um, Positives, I like that when you die you just come back really quickly like that, uh, especially in bits like this which look like they're going to take a, a, a kind of perfect timing to get done right. Uh, uh, what else? Looks very nice, I like this music. Um, uh, there we go. Um, I like the music, frame rates are disappointing looking. Uh, 30 instead of 60, but uh, certainly looks nice regardless. Um, not despite that. Um, but yeah, overall, interesting start. Um, I'm still annoyed my t shirt was extra, extra large. Um, but that's life. <laughs> that's the game, innit? Um, I'm only joking, obviously. The so yeah, there we go. That is scale attack. Curious to know what you think about it in the comments. It's out now on the eShop. Like I say, just kind of quickly launched without much uh, fanfare. Um, oh God.
want. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I will do more very soon. Uh, please visit tyrolhack.com and subscribe to this video and do all the usual stuff. Like it, etc. if you haven't already. Um, have a good day and I'll catch you later. Cheers guys, bye bye.